Last week, the Fever picked up their first win of the season in Los Angeles. The Sparks were in Indy on Tuesday for the return game. Offense was hard to come by for the Fever in the first half. The team shot under 30% from the field, but Caitlin Clark was able to generate enough to keep Indiana in the game. A couple of threes and a handful of free throws added up to 14. The Fever were down by five at the break. Yeah, I think I've improved a lot since the beginning and start of the season. I think the, the biggest thing for me is like once I get in there, I still get a little indecisive, and that's honestly where a lot of my turnovers um, are still coming from, um, just like a little indecision once I do get my feet in the paint. But I think I've done a better job of, you know, probing and finding people open or, um, you know, finishing at the rim. The third quarter saw the Fever come out on a 9 nothing run. Clark getting a couple of buckets going to the rim, and Aaliyah Boston added an open triple to push the Sparks to a quick timeout. I've had a pretty rough start um, from what I'm used to or even what I did last year. But I think what's important for me is that I just keep my mental good. Like I'm just focusing on showing up each and every day, just continue to do what the team needs. And I think it's going to fall. Like I'm going to be able to mm -hmm. see it. And I think these past two games have been better for me when it comes to just finishing around the basket, be, just being a great teammate. But I mean, it's been a rough start, but I'm blessed that we have more games to go. Kelsey Mitchell heated up after that to the tune of a 10-point third quarter. The Fever would build a seven-point lead. But the visitors from L.A. went on a run with some uncharacteristic three-point outbursts. The Sparks sparked their own 11-0 run and then another 12-point surge. I think they scored 11 points in less than two minutes, so it's just like one thing just led to another, and that seems like to be an issue for us. Is like we can never really stop the bleeding, and then it's just too much to come back from. Clark would finish the game with 30 points, the best showing of her season so far. But L.A. had more than enough to get to the end for an 88-82 win. The Fever still trying to piece together a proper 40-minute showing. You know, I have to remind myself, like, <laughs> this team has barely practiced together. Like, it's we're just getting tossed on the court and playing basketball games together, and we just, we just haven't practiced, and we're trying our best to learn on the fly. We have a lot of inexperienced players. Like, I'm a rookie playing point guard for this team. You know, A.B.'s in her second year, you know. We just have a lot of young young players out there on the court, and we're trying to learn and grow as fast as we can on the fly. The Fever have another pair of home games coming up this week. Seattle's here on Thursday, and then Chicago on Saturday for an early 1 o'clock start. A trio of road games will follow that to open the month of June. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.